My name is Amata and in this Red Gaming Tech video I am here with a little bit of a highlights reel from a Overclockers UK livestream which was conducted with the special guest from AMD, James Pryor, who is their senior product manager. Now I will include a link to the full live stream in the description below, I do suggest you watch the whole thing, but I want to focus on some highlights because, well, they confirm some interesting rumours that have been floating around for quite some time about both AIM, sorry, Vega and Ryzen. So as I said, there is a couple of Vega bits to get to, but I do want to discuss Ryzen first. It's, to be more exact, it's going to be Ryzen 2 that we're going to be discussing. Now despite the fact that we are going to be getting Ryzen 2, Prior was very keen to assure us that AMD are not backing down on their plans to have us stick with AM4 until 2020. When I had the honour of meeting Robert Halleck himself at the MSI Dragon Squad event over in Texas, do go watch my videos on that if you haven't seen it, he was very keen to also assure us that yes, this is a platform that's going to be sticking around for quite some time. So you might ask, okay, well, just what's happening with Zen 2 then? You know, how are they doing this with Zen 2? You know, if M4 is such an old platform, blah, blah, blah. Well, Zen 2 was already in the works when Zen 1 was already known, so they're obviously keeping enough so that they can stick with AM4 with obviously BIOS updates and that sort of thing. But the important thing is the TikTok process is what is going to be separating Zen 2 from Zen 1. And we got some Ryzen 2000 series on the horizon, and they were pretty much confirmed in this live stream to be using the refined Zen Plus architecture. So die shrink and architecture optimization. So Ryzen 2 or Zen 2 to be more exact is most likely going to be the 3000 series. Well, 2000 will be Zen 1 and Zen Plus 12 NM process instead. So as Paul has discussed a couple of times in prior videos, this is kind of what we expected based upon rumors. It's going to be 12 NM Ryzen improved, we sort of refresh first and then we're going to be getting Zen 2. So if everything goes to AMD's plans, it will simply be a simple BIOS flash and existing AM4 motherboards to get the capability there to run Zen 2 processors. So basically this is a confirmation pretty much that we are going to be getting exactly what we expected. However, that is the rise and stuff out of the way, done and dusted if you will. So let's move swiftly on to Vega and the first thing I want to discuss is that both Vega 56 and 64 are going to be getting an increased supply and according to the sources of videocards.com AMD is going to be finally supplying its partners with some Vega chips which is going to allow them to produce custom SKUs and with, this will also mean that reference designs are not going to be as needed or required basically which is what they have been over the past couple of months and of course this will allow the price issue to kind of ease off as well it is a bit of a kicker that it's taken them this long to be like okay here's some vega chips you can make your custom SKUs. you don't have to sell the reference designs with just more fans and leds and minor you know cos cosmetic tweaks rather than hey here's a like improved overclocked version or whatever so basically two things price will be sorting itself out when this happens and we'll see a less of a need and a requirement for the reference cards to be sold and speaking of vega we don't really know what's going on with vega 11 or at least we didn't but we now know that vega 11 is integrated into the Raven Ridge APU. It's going to have 11 compute units enabled and prior also then of course pretty much confirmed that these Ryzen APUs will also offer up to 11 compute units. So far we've only seen two mobile APU variants which have 10 or 8 CUs but the one with 11 Vega compute units would be obviously a top tier Raven Ridge APU. Unfortunately, we didn't get to hear any details about what's going on with their desktop APUs, but this does confirm that they are. We are going to be seeing Vega 11, and it is going to be 
for Raven Ridge. It's not something that we're going to be seeing released on its own, at least not from what we learn here. So yeah, there we go. Some interesting rumours confirmed and a little bit of a question mark cleared up as to what's happening with Vega 11. So personally, I think the most interesting thing is the confirmation of the rumours from Zen 2. Of course, we did all see those leaked roadmaps, which pretty much did confirm this, but obviously with any leaks that aren't you know, official, say a leak isn't official, but you get my point. Leaks are generally to be taken with a pinch of salt because even if they're once correct, they could be wrong now, or obviously they could be fake or changed in some way. You know, unfortunately, it is fairly simple to change an image to say something that it didn't originally. And obviously, again, even if they were correct when they were released, they could be out of date, that sort of thing. So we have sort of kind of known this for a while about Zen, but it is nice to get confirmation of that. And again, also nice to know exactly what is kicking with Vega 11. And of course, it is going to be showing itself within Raven Ridge. And it is going to have, as I already said, 11 compute units enabled for those top tier Ryzen APUs. Hopefully we'll know what's happening with desktop soon, but uh, for now that is me done for this video. Again, you can find a link to the live stream in the description below this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.